Hey guys, I'm here in my little semi-office area and uh, today I thought I would do a quick video and show you guys how I ship and then I can also show you what sold. I only had a couple things sell from yesterday evening until this morning, which is great so that I can do a video so we're not doing like a long video of what sold. I can quickly show you guys um, my setup, my inventory, uh, how I ship and what stuff I use to ship and then I can leave links below for you guys if you're interested in using the same items that I do then you can go ahead and purchase it. So I'm going to quickly pull everything and just give you a little background on how I store my inventory and how I pull those things for you. So the first step that I do is I print my label and on my label what I'll do is I will um, write my inventory number here and then I'll also write like what the item is just in case because there's been times that I've made a mistake and put the item in the wrong numbered bag than what I actually wrote in the description. Um, so basically what I'll do is I have bins numbered and I have a numbering system. So the bins are numbered from like 1 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60 and then um, each item, when I list it, I write the number in the description and then I put it in the bag that has that number on it. And I'll get into that a little bit later, but I'm just trying to show you guys like the steps I take on how I actually do my shipping. So, like I said, first thing I do is I print my labels. And then I'll know what number it is and then I'll go and I'll pull those numbers. So I'm gonna go pull those and then come back and show you guys then from there. So I just pulled everything. I just want to apologize in advance for this strange angle because I have such a weird work area right now since I live in a one bedroom apartment. I have half of my living room as like my inventory office space and the lighting is so horrible. So just bear with me guys. So anyway, so I pulled all my inventory and I match it with the label. So here's the label. This is Eileen Fisher and the number was 454. This is 454. What I'll do is I will take this out of the bag and then I will pack it up and then I reuse this bag with the number on it. And when I list, I assign this number then to the new stuff. So it's constantly just being replaced and rolling over. Um, so yeah, so I sold four items from yesterday, like late afternoon, I'd say maybe like around three o'clock since that's when I shipped yesterday up until this morning. Only four things, but two of those were big ticket items, so I'm satisfied with my sales. So I'm gonna show you guys um, the products that I use to do my shipping. So when I ship, I'm like kind of OCD. <laughs> like I like to really like go over every single item and inspect it another time. I inspect my items when I first get home, I inspect them when I photograph them, and then I inspect them again before I ship. So. First thing that you want to have is one of these sweater shavers. I like to go over them again before I ship just to make sure like there's no pilling or any fuzzies and anything like that. Another thing that I keep here is a lint roller so that I can lint roll everything, make sure it looks perfect before sending it out. Obviously you're going to need some tape. Uh, for Poshmark, I have business cards, and these are just like little thank you cards that I made from Vistaprint. Anyone can go make them, pick out your design, and I feel like these are a lot better than doing the whole like thank you cards and handwriting everything. This is so much better. It's easier. It saves you a ton of time. It might be a little more expensive, but again, time is money. You don't want to be spending three hours shipping every single day. So if your sales volumes are high, you need to move quickly. So another thing I like to use are these clear poly mailers. Uh, I buy the variety pack and it comes in, they come with like four different sizes. I'll leave a link below there. I order them from Amazon. They're 30 bucks for 400, which you can't beat. So depending on the size of my items, this size tends to be the most popular for me and I go through them a lot. Uh, there's no size on them, but they're like the small, like medium size in the, in the pack. And then I use decorative poly mailers to ship in since I only sell women's clothes. I like to use these plain uh, pink ones for eBay. You can also order like the free, uh, the free priority envelopes if you want to. I don't really use them like that. I don't, I don't know. I just prefer these. I think they're pretty. 
And then I also like to do like specialty uh, printed ones too for Poshmark. I only have one left. <laughs> I need to order more of these. I really like these like leopard printed ones. And this one I'll definitely be using for like the one of the dresses that sold for a high amount. I want to make sure that those are really cute. And then another uh, thing that I also use is boxes. Um, so let me show you the boxes that I use. Uh, okay, this one, these are all free. They're not a uh, flat rate. These are variable rate, priority mail. You can get them free. You can order them from uh, USPS.com or if you have a cool um, lady at the post office like I do, she hooks me up all the time. So this one's shaped like this, and I use this for Poshmark for like heavy stuff like jackets, sweaters, etc. The good thing about these is they have like the self-sealing strip so you don't have to use tape. Um, this one, the lady at the post office calls this the weird shaped box. So it looks like this, and then you put it together, and then after you put it together, it looks like this. These are my favorite, especially for dresses and shirts. I figure why not use this as like extra protection because with Poshmark, it's just a flat rate shipping that the buyer pays and they get priority shipping. So you might as well just take advantage of this since you can use it. Why not? The next thing is this one and this one is a shoe box. I probably should tell you guys like the size of this, but it's kind of self-explanatory when you go, this is, it's called shoe box. Like it literally says shoe box on it. And these I use to ship shoes. So what I'll do is I'll put the shoes in like a clear poly mailer, put this in, and then I'll shove like the filler paper that you can also buy like anywhere, like Walmart. I get mine at Big Lots. So that's for shoes. And then this one, <laughs> this is the big uh, large mailing box. This thing is perfect for if you sell a lot of bundles. I sell a lot of bundles on Poshmark. So this is like perfect for me. But today we're not gonna be using any boxes at all. These are all just one item sales. They're fairly small. So I'll show you guys then what sold. The well, first thing that sold is this Diane Von Verstenberg dress. Looks like that. Here's the tag could see it and this sold for $80 on Poshmark and with the 20 percent 20% fee that gave me $64 and I paid five dollars and fifty cents for this next sale was an Eileen Fisher 100% um, cashmere sweater and this sold for $70 on eBay and I paid four dollars and seventy five cents for it Looks like this. Okay, I'm just going down the line here since I got everything pulled. This is a Karen Kane uh, black swing dress. And if you don't know what the label <laughs> looks like, I'll show you. This looks like that. Karen Kane. This sold on eBay and it sold for uh, 35 bucks and I paid $5.50 for it. Next thing, this sold on Poshmark, free people, uh, like stretch, uh, skinny pants, look like that. These sold for 22, I think that gave me what, like 17 bucks, and I paid $6 for them, so only a $10 profit, but that's okay with me. So there you have it guys, that's four items. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and set this camera up to like show you guys exactly like how I pack it up since a lot of you have asked. So bear with me, let me try and figure this out. Right now I actually have the camera uh, <laughs> hooked up on a shoe rack so that I can show you guys. Like I kind of like rig everything around here. So all right, let me figure this out and I'll be right back. Right, so I guess this will work. Um, so this doesn't need to be like lint rolled or anything. This dress is like in excellent condition. There's no flaw. So I just like to look over it one more time. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just fold it on up. Put 
put it in one of these little guys here. And then it's a posh sale. So I will take my good old handy business card. Stick that right there. Then I stick it in here. And because this was a nice sale, paid a lot of money for it, I want to make sure it's extra protected. Put it in the box. And then I'll go ahead and just tape. The label right on there. Done. Next. This one is going to be an eBay. I just throw that crap over there. And this is a sweater, so and it's cashmere, so you really want to like make sure one last time that there is nothing. Especially in the armpit area, that's where you're going to see um, most of like the pilling. And on the back, like down near the near the butt, like the bottom, that tends to be a pilling spot. This thing's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, I just started on eBay, so I don't have business cards yet, so I need to make those ASAP to go in my packages because right now they're just pretty clean. But I feel like they're still going to be happy because... They're getting exactly what they paid for and make sure everything is in the condition that it says that it is. So I don't think you have to really go like above and beyond sometimes if you, as long as you're sending everything to your buyers and it's in the condition that you advertise it to be, it's the same size, etc. You don't need to go above and beyond to please your buyers. That goes for eBay and Poshmark. I think some people go a little bit too crazy on their Poshmark packages when all that tissue paper, uh, ribbon, is just going to be thrown away. Why not make it just a simple, professional, cute package instead of going crazy? Okay, so this is the Karen Kane dress. This thing is black, which means that it is more likely to have like fuzz and stuff on it especially because I take pictures using like a white rug it picks up the fur so this thing definitely needs a nice little lint rolling and I feel like the fur is like more stubborn and likes to like really sit on it Sorry, this video is pretty boring, but I know a lot of you guys ask me how I ship and what my process is, so I figure I'll just really go into detail and be extra boring today. But at least I got my uh, charger for my camera so I can start making more videos again. 
because that was kind of a pain. So let someone try and open a claim due to animal hair. I don't play around when it comes to hair and crap on stuff. I really do like to send out stuff and make it look perfect for my buyers. I just know like in the past when I've ordered stuff online and I've received stuff with like literally like just like I don't even know what like fuzz like stuff it just makes the item look dirty and it's not presentable and even if it's used you can still make it look nice as if they just like picked it off a like a rack at like a boutique shop or something that's what you're going for if you own basically an online boutique you're giving that buyer that buying experience as if they're shopping at a store see like this one okay I mean I could send this out and still be okay but I just want to be like extra careful when sending stuff especially when it's black my OCD kicks in on full blast on black items Okay, I think there's one. They're really stubborn. I think this looks good enough. I think it's okay. Pretty simple, guys. <laughs> this is such an easy shipping process. I don't know how everyone else does it, but mine is just very simple. another black item this one's not bad it barely has anything on it but gotta do it just in case I've had claims open against me in the past for animal hair but it's not animal hair because I don't keep anything near my animal and my animal if you guys see Harley in my insta stories he is black so when I get claims open on black items, I know that that's not Harley hair because he's a long haired chihuahua and he barely sheds. So pants, I like to fold like this, bring this side in and then this side in. Goes in there smooth. business card For posh things, I literally just fold the label. Like, I don't have time to take scissors out and cut that shit. That takes way too long. Fold it up, boom. And 
we're done. Alright, so that was everything that sold, my big four sales. Um, that's how I ship my stuff. It's pretty simple, nothing crazy. Uh, like I said, I'll leave everything that I use linked below if you guys want to buy any of that stuff. I also have it, some some of the stuff I already have linked in my Instagram. If you go to my little link tree thing, you can find the clear poly mailers and then the leopard print poly mailers I also have in there. Uh, everything else, like, you know, like lint roller and sweater shaver and tape, I buy them all at Target. So you can go to your Target and find the exact same ones there. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you do subscribe. And if you're not following me on Instagram, it's the same name, The Queen of Thrift, and I'll have that link below as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.